How to fix checkout error on Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you how to successfully set up your Shopify checkout page so that basically customers can check out on your store. Now, with that being said, to get started, simply just log in onto your Shopify dashboard and if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can get yourself a free trial by using the link down below. Either way, once you are logged in, just make sure to actually navigate to the settings on the bottom left. Now, first of all, I do want to mention that basically there are many possible reasons of why your checkout isn't working properly. The three most common ones are going to be that there are some, basically that there are some errors with the payment options or shipping or you haven't properly set up your markets. So uh, basically we are going to go over these three things in this video and then at the end I will also show you a way of actually testing your store to see if everything is then working properly. So to get started, we are going to actually head over to our payment options. So I'm just going to click on payments right here on the left. And as you can see, we then do have quite a lot of different options available for this. Now, just for this video, I'm quickly going to enable, uh, disable this test mode right here. Don't mind this, and then I'm just going to save this. Okay, so to get started with the payments, by default, you're most likely are going to see Shopify payments right here. And I generally have to say that if you do have Shopify payments available, I would highly recommend you to simply just set this up. This is going to be by far the best payment provider for your store. However, this isn't going to be available in all of the different countries out there. However, if you do live in countries like uh, the US, like the UK or like Germany and so on, you are going to have this available and to actually basically add this onto your Shopify store you will just have to complete the account setup and then you will have to submit all of your different details right here. Now this is going to be different from country to country so I'm not going to actually set this up right now. However as you can see this isn't going to be anything too hard. As you can see you will just have to put in your personal details, all of the different product details and your local currency and that's basically it. After you have done that, you will then basically have to secure your store with a two-step authentication right here and then you do have Shopify payments available. Now, additionally, you can also set up PayPal right here. As you can see, the big upside of PayPal is that it does have a 0% transaction fee. So I would actually recommend you to simply just set this up. Basically, it isn't going to take long. And then we can actually also add some manual payment methods. So basically, if you don't have Shopify payments available, for example, you can simply just click on add payment method right here. And you're then going to have the option to, for example, search for Visa. And then you can see all of the different payment providers that do accept Visa or MasterCard, Amex and so on. You can then select any of these. So let's, for example, just go for this. Uh, I don't know. I personally always go with to checkout right here. So you can see. This does actually have a transaction fee of 0.8%, but either way, you can then install this onto your store and you will then just have to manually set this up by basically creating an account on to checkout. Okay, so if you have set up everything like I did and your checkout still isn't working, then it's most likely because you haven't set up your markets and your shipping properly. Now, by default, Shopify, let's actually navigate to markets right here. By default, you are going to have your international market and your market for your domestic country available. Now, in my case, this would be the US and then the international market is going to show for all of you guys. So let's, for example, look at the United States domestic market right here. As you can see, this is also going to be marked as the primary market and we can then see all of the different settings inside right here. However, also important to notice is uh, that if you do want to accept international payments, you will have to click on international right here and then you will have to set this to active. By default, this is actually set to inactive. So make sure to actually change this if you do want to select international payments. Now, with that being said, if you only do want to accept payments from certain countries, in that case, you will, would simply just have to click on add market right here. And then we can, for example, add a new market called Asia and then we can say okay we only do want to basically accept Japan and then we can also add for example South Korea right here and so on then I'm just going to name this I'm going to name this Asia in this case and then I'm simply going to add this market 
Now we do have this available and now we will have to first of all set this to active which we can, can't do right now because we haven't set up our shipping. So this could be a possible reason basically why your checkout isn't working. And um, Now if you do have this market available you will also have to add shipping rates right here and we can do so by simply just navigating to the shipping uh, section right here on the left and by the way guys if you do want to supercharge your Shopify store and your Shopify success you can do so by getting my free course I right now give out my course for completely free so make sure to click on the link down below to get started to basically get started supercharging your Shopify store so as you can see right here under shipping and delivery by default we are going to have two shipping rates first of all our general shipping rate and then also a custom shipping rate now I actually think that this custom shipping rate, I guess, isn't going to be available for you guys because I actually customly set this up in one of my previous videos. But either way, you will just have to click on create new profile right here. And then under the profile name, I'm going to name this Asia. And we will then have to add all of our different products onto this. In my case, I'm just going to select these ones right here. Obviously, you would just have to customize this depending on your own store. And then we basically do want to create a shipping zone. So I'm just going to select this and now we will have to select our Asian market right here. Select this, click on done and now this is going to be added. However, as you can see, we don't currently have any rates added onto this. So in this case, I'm just going to click on add rate. And now we do have two different options. First of all, we can use a flat rate or we can also use a carrier or app to calculate fees. So basically this is going to be dependent on where you're going to ship to. Uh, in some cases, I would recommend you to actually go for this. However, to make it more simple, I'm just going to use the flat rate right here. And then as for the shipping rate, we are actually going to go for standard international. And I'm going to change the price to, let's just say 10 bucks because shipping from the US to Asia is going to be quite costly however with that being said i'm just going to click on done right now we can actually also add a free shipping option so let's do that now in this case i'm just going to once again change this to standard international and then as for the price this is going to be zero bucks however we can also add a condition onto this so if you for example do want to say okay only certain orders over let's say $200 are going to get free shipping then we can do this by simply just selecting based on order price and we can then set the minimum price to $200 right here. So we can then actually click on done and now we can actually save this right here. So now that we do have this custom shipping rate profile available, we can head back to our markets and we can now actually enable this Asian market right here. Perfect, this should actually get the job done. Let's now quickly um, basically take a look and let's now quickly do a test payment to actually see if everything is going to work accordingly. So I'm now simply just going to check out right here. So as you can see, I now added my, basically my personal details. These are just random examples. I do have added my email right here. And then I also added the country. As you can see, I also do have Japan available as well as South Korea right here. And then as you can see, anyone can put in their address. The shipping is also going to work. And as for the payment right here, let me quickly go ahead and actually do this. We are just going to copy this from right here. As for the expiration date, we are just going to put in anything random and then as for the security code we can also put in this let's just now click on pay now and now this should actually redirect us so i'm just going to click on continue to check out either way da -da -da. so you can see now our order is going to be processed so let's now see if this has been successful and as you can see now this has been successfully added we do have this order confirmation page and now your checkout should actually work properly we all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.